I sat down with my account and he said, I got good news and I got bad news. Okay. I said, what's the good news? He said, the good news is you made a lot. I said, what's the bad news? The bad news is you spent more. Okay. okay. Look, sometimes you need the faith. Sometimes you need to know you or sometimes you need to wait. Shoot like the golden boy, but in front of bay. You can't negotiate with Drake. You gon' have to pay, but wait. Jugging on the main stage, the main frame. Loosen up your face, baby. Take my energy before engagement. Grew up having nothing, you labeled impatient. But once the boss made it, you labeled amazing. Meticulous with words, cause you force of nature. Boss. I don't wanna seem absurd, but that boy's a gangster. Fo focusing on me, way from Tel Aviv. Barbados with the hustle pockets, LRDs. Distinctive destinations, all I wanna see. Ocean from residences, three different ones a week. Cause I deserve that, it's time to learn that Mess around and put that thing up where your permit Six figures every year, yeah, I earn that Cut the front of this line, is where my turn at Sometimes you need a friend Not the ones that just show up and don't put nothing in You know the ones that lend their hand and want to see you win When you come up on that lick, make sure you cut them in And then, sometimes you need a foe Oh Men gon' lie, women gon' lie. You're looking for the truth and the numbers don't hide. Looking for the root of all evil, then you need to go open up the briefcase, see what your eyes. Everybody claim to be great at spa times, but you never spend a day in the rain in the front line. No lie. Stop playing on my phone line. Pull up in the space group with the roof. I'm sure no. Wonder why they follow suit. I've been groomed from the womb. Came out of my mama with some running to the shoes. That's the dinner speed and bullet. No, 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 no. Don't play with it, baby. Say, what you gonna do? It was a common sight in the 80s and 90s, not quite as frequent since, but it's back. Playoff football in the Bay Area here at Levi Stadium in Santa Clara. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the Houston Texans and the San Francisco 49ers. The shadows starting to get a bit longer. Week 10 of the NFL season is here and we're underway on EA Sports. And that is the kind of tackling they want to see all game as he'll lose yardage to start things out. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. At the 24. Ball at the 24 and a second and 11. From the gun, here's Watson. And this would complete to Will Fuller. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. One thing we do know, he's going to get his catches. So as they move forward defensively, got to continue to focus on not giving up the big play when he does catch the ball in the second down. Watson to throw on third and one. Man open, that's Kiki QT complete. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. 
An eight-yard pickup. It goes as a gain First of eight, and it moves Houston. the chains. The first down carry here for Johnson. And he'll lose yardage here, back at the 41. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Nice play right there to stop him behind the line, but I want to see how this defense continues to play him here in the first half. Yeah, we know. You know better than I. He has the ability to take over a game. So what do you do? Yeah, I think you have to make sure that you bottle him in at varying levels because if you crowd everyone to the line of scrimmage, if he breaks through, it's nothing but room to run. And brought in by the tight end Cook. Last play, they got stuffed at the line. Different story here, over 20 yards. They've got good playmakers on the offensive side of the ball. I don't know what happened last week to, to really hurt their performance and, and hold down their production, but I would dare say that this week in practice, there's a lot of talk about how they're going to increase their proficiency. And that was a good start, getting the playmakers involved. You mentioned that to me pregame. That's what they did there. Yeah, I think a lot of people think the coaching staff really gets on them, and that's how they motivate them. Most of these guys are self-motivated. They have a lot of pride in their performance. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Six-yard line. Watson, off play action. Escaping the pressure right. Trying to squeeze it into Edelman, and it's intercepted. Dante Jackson picks it, and he's going to take this one back to the 37-yard line. So far this season, this defense has had their issues against the pass, so that's a great sign for them to get the early pick. They have confidence builder for them and an absolute shock for the quarterback because he went into it. He saw the numbers we saw. He watched them on tape. I think he came into this one thinking this is going to be a big day, and it very well could be. But early in this one, advantage defense. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. Here's the first carry now for Todd Gurley. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run. And let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down. Otherwise, it's going to be a long afternoon. So on the heels of the run by Todd Gurley, another first and 10. Love. That's complete to Moss out of the backfield. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. They'll contain him to just four, second down. Partner, it's a lot of fun watching the NFL now, isn't it? Because when the big fella runs routes, it used to be when we were kids, he'd run about three different routes, and that was it. Now he can run anything and catch the balls we just saw there. Second down, this is Gurley. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. It's a first down on a gain of 10. How best to describe that one? I'd say right down Broadway on that run. A straight ahead running. I think that that might be something we see a lot of between the tackles today. Well, he's enjoying things so far here this afternoon. Sees a crease and bursts through it for a solid game. Gurley again here on first down. And he'll snag about five yards down at the 32. He's tackled it. He was well over 100 yards last week. He told us this week, a little ambitious, that he wants to hit that 200 mark. We'll see. Makes sense, though, doesn't it? Have we ever run into a running back that had a great game the week before that didn't think that's just going to naturally continue? Just make sure you feed me the football. And that's what they're all about. Continuity, rhythm, number of carries. Just keep giving it to him. Now Gurley. 
And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. 11 yards there, first down. That O-line, they cleared a big hole there on that run. The athleticism of offensive lines continues to evolve, and we're seeing it here. Not only are they controlling things right at the line of scrimmage, but they're able to get upfield to get to what we call the second and the third levels. You know, get to the linebacker spot, the secondary spot, getting all the way downfield with their blocking, which helps keep the running back clean. They'll try to continue that trend here this afternoon. First down, going to the air with Love. His throw caught right around the six. And across the chalk, into the end zone. It's a 49er touchdown. touchdown. George Kittle, his second touchdown on the season. And the Niners have taken the early lead. And the 49ers grab a 7 to nothing lead. Makes the score, Niners 7 after the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. 25-yard line. The Texans' offense ready to go here for their next drive. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. Of course, they'd like to forget the ending, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they threw the interception and finished off the drive, that does them no good to go back and say, well, you know what, a good one going. Finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. Well, they had the run for no gain. Now they'll try again from the 25 on second and 10. A shotgun snap for Watson. That'll be complete to Cook. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. 15 yards on the play, first down. Well, starting drive number two off on the right foot. Completion for the first down. Drive one is the... They had to be pretty frustrating because they moved the football. They just didn't get any points out of it. But warm-up QB, too. Let's bring in the backup. I mean, my goodness, you take them downfield and you don't score points. You know I'm being totally facetious here, right? I'm just kidding. Nice first drive. Rarely do teams score on every single drive in a game. But they like what they did there. They just hope they can pay it off this time with some points. They'll run on first down. Johnson. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. Ten more there and another first down. Gosh, when you've got Deshaun Watson, Charles, executing a run pass option, that puts the defense in a tough spot, does it not? It does, and what I liked is that you called me this week watching your own video, your own tape, and you said, I think the runner's going to pop a few this week because of what we've seen from Deshaun Watson. His ability to get to the corner, that's where the focus will go. They stay on the ground on first with Johnson. And good penetration here. He'll get this down only to about the 49-yard line. In on the stop, it was Traverius Moore. Second and nine at the Niners' 49-yard line. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Out of the gun, Watson. And Cook has it, left side. Watson's pass. That catch good for five, it's third down. Five yards. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Forty ers have an extra defensive back on the field. A nickel set for third down. From the gun. Watson eluding the pressure right. He's letting this one go for Fuller. And unable to connect. Incomplete. Now give them credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. That was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them. And I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. A 
They punted three times in the loss last week as he sends this one away. The Niners take over first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. And you know, it's certainly a lot of football left to play. We're not into December yet, but right now where we stand, they're in first place in their division, looking really good and looking to be a threat come January. And are you one of those early holiday shoppers, partner? Are you one of those guys get your list done? Because I think about what every team has on their holiday shopping list right now. What's the number one goal? Make the playoffs. Number two, win your division. Number three, and I think the biggest goal of all, try to get the number one seed so you get that first round by and ensure you don't have to go anywhere in January and hopefully get to the Super Bowl that way. Love now on second down. Stepping up, he's going to keep it. A good decision in the end to pull it and run. Gets him nine yards in a first. Certainly making his presence felt in both the pass and the run game. He's having an impact. Yeah, his first carry of the game right there. He had hurt him with his arm. Now he's showing that he can shuffle the puppies as well. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Love from the gun. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. As his old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. From the 34, they'll come to the line on second and 10. They run out of the shotgun with Gurley. Five yards, now it's third and five. He's tackled at the 40-yard line. It's a gain of five. Brings up third and five. They go play action now. He'll let it fly for Austin. This is caught inside the 15. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play. They picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. It looks like a jumbo set with three tight ends here for first and goal. They'll try and push it in with Gurley. And this time they were ready for him as they'll stop him right at the line of scrimmage. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. Leads to second and goal. Another try on second down with Gurley. And he'll take this into the end zone for a San Francisco touchdown. with his 10th touchdown of the season. And the Niners are able to stretch their lead. Makes the score. Extra point from McManus is good. And it's now 14 to nothing. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. Now to return, this is David Johnson. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. First and 10 at their own 26-yard line. The Texans' offense ready to go here for their next drive. And they're in a bind early here, down 14-0. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team. You want to make sure that they stay positive. But at the same time, you're wondering, how are we going to move the football? What do we have on this play sheet that can work? Get back to basics is usually your answer. And make sure you find the guy who can move the ball fastest for you if you just get it in his hands. Yeah, still second quarter. You get points on the board here. I think you're feeling okay. On first down, Watson. And that is...
is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Have to give some credit to the defender on that when he read all of his keys perfectly and got a great break on the ball and able to force that incompletion. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Throwing again is Watson. Yeah, he's going to have the hook up to QT. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. looking at third and eight after the second down pass play only went for two. personality that's you Charles Davis to another one in Orlando the coach he'll have stats and scores from around the NFL you and Jonathan Coachman both larger than life no doubt about it but you're stuck with me in this booth <laughs> yes, and he's I miles am. away and smiling and happy throwing on third down Watson flushed out right and a throw there going to be incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. Well, they certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield. But they never did. And problem spreading to the punt team now. This one goes all the way into the end zone on the fly. So that'll come back to the 20. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. It's been a good first half so far. They're up 14 to nothing. Points here. They could really put them in command before intermission. Yeah, and it's all well and good what they're seeing and how they're feeling right now. But this is the NFL. I'm thrown across his body, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 30. A young quarterback, Charles, rolling to his right. They know he's right-handed, but is that one that maybe a veteran sticks in his pocket? I think so, but you have to remember with young quarterbacks, it may take a few years before they get all the stuff out of them that they did earlier in their career or even in their college days when they were used to being dominant. In this case, the NFL veteran defense ended up winning the battle. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Earlier this half, you were wondering how the defense was going to handle him defensively. Were they going to bottle him up at different levels, so to speak, is what you said. What have you seen so far? Well, I think they've been absolutely terrific because it feels like on every play, if we were watching this in the film room, when they clicked off the film or stopped it, you would see 11 shirts of that same color right there in the frame trying to tackle him. That's what you're looking for. Now a pass, and it's complete to QT. Stopped at the 24-yard line after a gain of five. That catch good for five. It's third down. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens. Looking for Johnson, and it's intercepted. It's Quinton Dunbar with a pick. And he'll bring it all the way back just a yard or two shy of midfield. You don't see this often. A quarterback of his caliber, two first-half interceptions. It's absolutely surprising because it happens so rarely. You're searching for what reason, what's going on out there. It's not just maybe the defense is playing well. Is his horoscope off? His biorhythms? What is it? You went horoscope on us, David. Well, I was thinking maybe REM sleep was off. I'm trying to come up with something. Anything, right? 
right side. This is Austin with a catch. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half. And three at the 44-yard line. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Here's Gurley now out of the gun. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. He'll let it go deep for Beckham. Oh, he had six points in his hands there. Couldn't hang on. Second down. Incomplete. Leads to second and 10 at the 35-yard line. Here's second and 10 now from the 35. Throwing again. Love. Austin's got it left side. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. It's a first down on a gain of 10. to Beckham on the perimeter. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. From the left hash mark, this a 43-yard attempt. And McManus able to put it through. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As we send you cross-country to Orlando, Jonathan Coachman is there and has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Kaimi's Bear Bear in the kickoff for Houston. It's the 49ers out in front, and they will get the football first as well as we are back and started in the second half. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on Here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys. But be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. They run. It's Gurley. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. They were not fooling around at all, were they? Second and short, and they brought out the heavy package. Almost felt like the super heavy package against that defense, didn't it? Yeah, I don't think they expected that much beef up front, and it turned into an easy first down conversion. His first toss off the bench. Flush to his right. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. You can see the thought process there. With his speed, they were hoping he could pop one. Instead, the coverage was good, and they forced the incompletion. So second down and 10. Once again, they'll go from the 40. Here comes carry number 10 for Gurley. And he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. It's a gain of four. Brings up third and six.
On third and long, it's Kaepernick. It's caught left side by Cooks. And he gets it down to the 48, enough for the first. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here, and he also picks up a first down. So a first and 10 now in Houston territory at the 48-yard line. They just do get the playoff. Love going to throw it. Over the middle to Beckham. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. A really good pickup of 28 yards. Those are the kinds of plays right there that show you why he's the number three man in the NFL in terms of receiving yards. Also tells you there's a full combination of what he's got going in his game. You name it from route running to catching the football. That's why he's able to produce those types of numbers. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Oftentimes when you're losing a game and the team's still throwing with this kind of a lead, you start playing a little more physically. And they took that opportunity right there to be extremely physical and force that incompletion. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. to throw again. Love. Under pressure, and he'll go down. Back at the 26-yard line. Ross Blacklock credit him with a sack, and it goes as a loss of six. Ninth play of the drive now on third and a country mile. Play action this time with Love. He finds Beckham complete. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. I'd have to say that whenever you see a good post route run, they do not like to let it end without the catch. Hence, that great diving play. Yeah, lay it up there, let him go get it, and he got it. that quickly outside and he's gonna take it in touchdown san francisco odell beckham with a lucky number 13 touchdowns now on the year and the 49ers had six to their lead and they're able to up the lead by one more makes the score niners 24 texas after the touchdown here's mcmanus now to kick it away And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, called it the 26. 26 yard line. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And their halftime hole now even deeper, and they need a big drive here just to answer the first touchdown of the second half scored against them. They were down at the half. Now, as you mentioned, they're down a little bit bigger, but no time for discouragement. You just got to get back to it, right? Put your shoulder against the boulder and start pushing and try and get back to where you were to start the half. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. From the gun, here's Watson. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. 12 yards there and a first down. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook. But oh, so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. On first down. 
It's Johnson. And he's across the 40. Three extra yards to the 43. Ball carrier. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Well, they certainly haven't been able to get him going and establish the run, so I think it's time to abandon that plan and start chucking it all over the park. And you know who's excited about that? The defensive front. They got a chance to pin their ears back and get after him now. Again, it's Johnson. And they're going to get him behind the line yet again as his nightmare afternoon continues. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Operating from the gun, Watson. He's letting this one. That's caught inside the 20. Touchdown, Houston. Will Fuller, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Texans cut into that lead. Well, if they're going to make a game of this in the second half, they need a few big plays to go their way. That's one. And the way to get it done is to also conserve time. So to your point, that big play right there, now you're not moving the ball downfield, taking time off the clock. You're leaving yourself a better avenue to continue to try and make a comeback. Extra point by Fairbairn, up and good. And that'll make it 24-7. to to kick off for Houston. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbairn now to kick it away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And now you've got the clock winding down here in the third quarter. Your three scores to the good. What's your approach on this drive? Too early to fully commit to playing the clock game. Yet, at the same time, you're also not going pell-mell like you would in two-minute offense. This is what NFL offenses call four-minute football. Take the clock out of the game a little bit, wind it down, but at the same time, keep advancing the ball down the field. First down yardage on the first play of the drive, 14 yards. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Out of the shotgun, it's Love. Completes it to the tight end, Kittle. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Second and three at the 46-yard line. Here's Gurley. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. That one, a first down pickup of eight. That's back now here in Santa Clara. It's 49er football here. They've got the lead as well as we get set to start the fourth and final quarter. So a first and ten now in Houston territory at the 46. to throw it and he will find his man on the outside from seven yards the pick up there it's a gain of seven brings up second and three at the Texans second down and three here's love and he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Well, they go play fake. The problem is nobody was faked out. <laughs> and when no one's faked out, what's the end result? Quarterback gets hit. <laughs> the Niners on third down. A perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. This is third and nine. On the counter, Gurley. 
And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. 13 yards there and a Niner first. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. Let's go, D. Big series right here. We got to step it up. First down, love to pass. And bringing it in right side here, back up. And they'll get this one to about the 20-yard line. 11 more on that one and another first down. How about a guy proving his worth in different ways? Had a big play in the run game to play before. This time, they go right back to him in the passing game, and he comes through with yet another big play. That's why you work out so hard in the offseason, so you can stay on the field and accumulate big plays. And he's not able to get away. Sacked back at the 22. They've been moving the ball well offensively, really getting into a groove. Last play, pass completion. Now, finally, the defense gets there. And you have to find a way to disrupt their rhythm. Do you do it with coverage or do you do it with pressure? They elected to go with pressure, and it was the right call. Now a second down throw for Love here. His throw caught right around the six. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. That, I believe, will put him over 100 yards receiving for the game. Yes, it will. And he's got a first down to boot. They'll come out in the pistol. On first and goal, Gurley. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop it right around the one. A pickup of four on first down. It'll be second and goal. And I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely. You want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. the goal line into the end zone touchdown for the Niners. Odell Beckham with his 14th touchdown of the year second of the game and the 49ers add on to their lead and the lead is now 24 makes the score Niners 31 Texans 7 Brandon McManus set to kick off after the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. 25-yard line. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. Well, I think that the folks here had hoped that maybe this home atmosphere would carry their guys to a surprise victory. But it does not appear that that's going to be the case. There's too much to handle on the other side in this one. The former LSU Tiger Dante Jackson on the stop. Brings up second and nine. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. Now we'll play fake, and it's Watson. He's letting this one go for Fuller. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. And nine yards to go. The Texans on third down. Two for five to this point. This is third and nine. Out of the 
gun. Watson, he's going to take another shot here. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. That's an excellent job right there on third down. Like any defense, you never want to let them get anything started. And that would have been a first down. Instead, you saw the contact on time, no penalty. And before this drive could get wings, it's fourth down. And he can't field it cleanly. It's loose. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble, and that could have been trouble. I know there's no magnet in the ball, but sometimes for the punt returner, after such a scramble, it sort of feels that way, doesn't it? He has it. He loses it. Somehow, the ball finds its way back to him. But atone for his sin, and you know he's taking a deep sigh of relief right now. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. They've got a chance now to put this game away following that last defensive stop and punt. A little bit of daylight on that first down run sets him up nicely. Eight yards on the carry. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. Saw it through three quarters. No reason to lighten up now. comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. They don't get the hook up there, but you really have to marvel at how precise he's been throwing the football these last couple weeks. Oh, that's a perfect word for it, precise, because if you're at 70% or better two weeks in a row, you have a job as long as you want one in this league, won't you? I mean, let's face it's not just West Coast offense either. He's putting the ball downfield as well. Play fake. Here's Love. And it falls incomplete after almost being intercepted. A pick there would have been great. The good news for the defense now, it's fourth down. It's now fourth down. Here comes the 49ers punter now. Always a good sign when your first punt comes in the fourth quarter. And look at this, it's a fake, and he will not make it. They stop him short of the first down. A little trickeration there, but it doesn't fool this defense. And the Texans take over an excellent field position. They'll run on first down. It's Johnson. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. He was taken down at the 22. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Texans football as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Here's a throw that's taken in out of the backfield. And he is out of bounds right around the 10-yard line. 12 yards there and a first down. Offense for them has been at a premium. You wonder where plays like that have been all game long. They're thinking the exact same thing themselves, but they're also looking forward now because now these plays are really for next week, trying to get some momentum going. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. On first down. It's Johnson. And running room hard to come by here. He gets it down to the eight. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held him to a gain of two. And that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. Throwing on second and eight. Watson, that is caught at the seven-yard line. And here he'll get it down to the seven. That catch good for only a yard, and it'll be third down. Is third down. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. A 
a shotgun snap for Watson. And got his man. It's caught. Touchdown, Houston. Touchdown. Jared Cook. His third touchdown now on the year. And the Texans use the short field to their advantage as they cash in for six. And oh, it's no good on the PAT. So they can't add on here. And our score is going to stay right where it is. to kick off for Houston. So with the missed PAT in his rearview mirror, he goes back out to kick this one off. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he won't quite make it to the 25. Austin on the return. The Niners take over first and 10 at their own 24-yard line. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And this crowd has certainly liked what they've seen. Their guys fully expected to win this one coming in, and they have not disappointed as they've got the big lead here in the fourth. And it's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive game. Just keep that clock ticking. And the ball on the 30. Here's second and four. Again, they run with Gurley. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that's going to lead to a third and four coming up. It's now third down and four. Check 26, check 26. Back to the workhorse today. It's Gurley. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. Give him six yards of the first down. I got an idea. Let's skip racing to the airport at the end of this game. Let's go to the post-game press conference. I have a feeling that the quarterback of this winning team is going to be giving a whole lot of credit to the running game and the offensive line. Yeah, I was just going to say the offensive line, yes, carrying the ball has been key, but those guys up front, they've made a lot of space. Today's final score, Niners. And Charles, I think when the schedule comes out, all teams, no matter where they're predicted to finish, talk about protecting your home turf. They were able to do that here in this one. Similar to a tennis match, right? Not letting them break your serve. That way you hold on to it. They got it done, and they feel very good about that victory. So for San Francisco, they're setting themselves up as a major contender as they move to 8-1 and one now on the year. And they will hit the road next week. Meanwhile, for the Texans, the turnaround.